Um, our OPA program, it's a middle school program started at Moore several years ago. And actually, we have an environmental program on high school, but it really started on middle school side. Um, Mr. Brennan was pretty instrumental in getting the whole environmental OPA program up and going here at Moore. Um, and Mr. Fletcher has been teaching environmental classes and recruiting students from all over the county to come to our environmental program for middle school. As a result, we were fortunate to be named um, a health, medical, and environmental magnet a couple years ago. So we've been recruiting students on the high school side to come here for environmental. So we have a seamless effort here that students can actually come here in sixth grade and have seven years of environmental education. So it's wonderful to send your kid here. They can come here from sixth grade all the way up to 12th grade. Our nature trail we're celebrating today, um, Mr. Brennan actually, it was a brainchild of his to do the nature trail. It's in the very back of our, um, of our location at our school. And he saw the, the need to actually create a trail so that our kids can experience nature. And when you're on the trail, when you're in the middle of the trail, you'll feel like you're not even at a school. Um, it feels like you're out in the middle of a park. It didn't get that way on its own. Mr. Brennan, along with his um, daughter, Miss Brennan, has spent the last three years on getting that ready for us to actually go visit today. We're going to have a ribbon cutting today for that ceremony. The kids carried buckets of mulch, and we saw them cut down trees and, and weed and identify and plant birdhouses and all kinds of great things out there. So we're, we're in for a treat. If you're taking the tour today, you're in for a great treat. We've got a lot of great students here at Moore, and everything that we were able to accomplish was... Uh, because kids came after school, uh, they worked their tails off. They got muddy, they got dirty, a few of them even got poison ivy. Um, but every time that we would finish, they would say, when are we going to do this again? And they were very excited. You could tell they're very proud about what we've been able to do out here. Uh, we're not finished by any means. Uh, we just decided this would be a good day to uh, have a grand opening for like our first phase. We can, we're going to continue to develop this in the upcoming years. Um, lots more things that we can do outside with our environmental program and our after school nature club. But we've had groups of kids uh, the last three years work on it. So some of the eighth graders, seventh graders, and sixth graders, uh, and, and they've all contributed, all, they've all done a really good job with that and worked really hard. And then also last, year, last week, probably every student in this building was doing some kind of project for the, the uh, give a day the Mayor's Give-A-Day program. And we picked up trash all over this campus. We had kids in the creek pulling out tires and everything like that. So in a way, virtually every kid in this uh, building has contributed in some way to this. And I hope that in the future they can all get a whole lot out of it. Uh, we're going to turn this into an outdoor classroom, an area to teach with. So I hope that you enjoy the tour today. And thank you, everybody, for coming. Students were the, at the core of peaceful demonstrations that marked the first Earth Day celebration in 1970. Forty-three years later, I'm proud to recognize students and educators who remain dedicated to pursuing environmental knowledge and impacting sustainability efforts. We see commitment, dedication here today. In order for these enthusiastic middle school students to transform a dense thicket into a National Wildlife Federation certified wildlife habitat, they had to learn the science behind preservation. This project provides a vital connection to understanding plant species, animal habitats, and other elements of environmental science. They took ownership of their learning and made the classroom come alive. Our mission at JCPS is to provide instruction that inspires. This is a prime example of just that. I commend Mr. Brennan and the administration here at Moore for their commitment to environmental sustainability, and I applaud the spirit of the students who not only worked diligently in the classroom, but built this trail step by step and bucket by bucket. The students who first observed Earth Day in hopes of preserving the environment for your generation would be proud that you are doing the same for the next. And now, we'd like to welcome Congressman Yarmouth, who is here to celebrate with us. A few weeks ago, I ran into Mr. Brennan, and he told me about this incredible project here at Moore, and, I, and the, <clears throat> the event was going to take place today. And I asked, please invite me. So I can say thanks to all the students here who have made this a reality. You know, for the last 150 years or so in, in this country and probably longer in other countries, uh, we really have done our best to mess up the environment. And it was about 40 years ago, Dr. Orman, 
talked about the first Earth Day. Uh, in this country, we had places where you really couldn't breathe very well because of the pollution in the air. They called it smog then. You don't even know, have to know what the word smog means now because we don't have it anymore. We had one of the Great Lakes that actually caught on fire because of the toxicity in the water, Lake Erie. And it became a national uh, recognition that we needed to start reversing the damage that we had done to the environment and start cleaning up our own water. And we've made a lot of progress over the last 40 years. Creation of the Environmental Protection Agency was about 40 years ago. And again, we've made a lot of progress, but we continue uh, to make decisions that don't always operate in the best interests of the environment and future generations. So. While we have gained sensitivity, we really, most of us in our generation, haven't gained the knowledge and the passion for making sure that our planet is sustainable and making sure that we take care of the great resource that we have. So I'm so proud of the students here who have now developed both the expertise and the passion to make sure that the planet is safe for their generation and future generations. Uh, not only is this vital to the existence of um, uh, the humanity, but it's also a great economic opportunity because many, many of the new jobs that are going to be created over the next couple of decades are going to be in the fields of energy and environmental activity. So you're in the vanguard of that effort and uh, there's some great careers available to you and will be available to you because of your work here and the, the knowledge and, and expertise you're gaining here. So. Thank you very much for letting me be a part of it. I look forward to seeing the trail. And once again, thank you to all the students for the great work you've put in and, and the students who have inherited this great project and will be able to maintain it over years to come.